come out of her. Out. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. This way. Shamari, make sure you show even the people on the floor sometimes. Good job. Come out. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Come on, sweetie. What happened to you? Oh, shots. Some of you should be around to catch them. Something really came out though. This lady has suffered, eh? She's had some terrible... Tell me what happened. The way you fell, eh? Whew. Something pushed you. Was heavy. Nobody even saw that coming. Don't block my cameras. Didn't see it coming either. You didn't see it coming. Wait, how did it feel? Face the camera. Um, I just felt like the first wave and the second wave. I felt like something was just flowing out of me. Wow. And I heard that angels held you, even though you fell. Did you feel anything? Mm, a little in my head, but not. But it's, it's not like I just heard that angels held you. Nobody saw that coming. Come, let's do it again. Relax. Come out. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I tried to catch her this time. I couldn't. <laughs> there are some things she's supposed to have that God even promised her. And the enemy has been blocking it. So this program, she really needed it. Come, sweetie, get up. Was she here yesterday? You were here yesterday. You were here on Friday. Okay. So what happened? What's different about today? Come stand. I tried to catch you, but I couldn't. What happened this time again? You don't know again. Hey. This is serious. How many of you can't wait to receive your own? Ushers, try to help them, please. Don't fall again. No. Your heart is good. Don't fall again. Stand by this woman. Stand behind her. You are free in Jesus' name. Go. Oh, she's shaking. Leave her. Just leave her alone. Wow. Come on. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings, my queen, and greetings to QBM SOP members. My name is Kenish, and I'm here to testify of the goodness of God. So I attended the Holy Ghost Encounter in London, and on the day three of um, Holy Ghost Encounter, um, Apostle said that we should really, truly believe in the wave, like we really wanted it. We really wanted it. So I was talking to God in my heart, and I was saying that it's the last time um like today is the last day and i really want everything that's meant to be gone to be gone and i wanted the opportunity to be free i don't know we're gonna have it again so i want i just want to be free and i really and truly believe it and want, desire it so when i came i stepped in front of apostle she waved the first wave i went to the second wave i thought i was going to go back and sit down but i fell i have no clue what happened i don't know how i fell I just landed on the floor. <laughs> but what's funny is that my body, I felt like I fell like on a mattress, but from my neck downward, I didn't feel anything down. So just my head a little bit, but I guess I had my head had to touch the ground to knock that demon out. And then when I post, when I get up again, the second time I puzzle, the second batch of wave, I would say, um, I heard something was screaming in me saying, Why? And then the third batch, after the third set of waves she, she did to me, I thought I was free. And then I was so tired, I wanted to sleep. And I was burping and burping in my seat. I was burping. And I just wanted to sleep. I was like, I want to, just want to sleep. Like something came out, like something heavy. And I am just want to nap, take a nice nap right now. And I slept. And I slept so well that night. And after the... The program, when the program finished, I came to Apostle and I told her my testimony. So like that God has done it for me that I'm pregnant. And then, but I felt detached, like even prior to knowing, someone came to my gym and told me that I'm pregnant, but I denied it. I said, no, I'm not. And then 
um, the city as you are, but I would say, well, within a couple of days. But the way I said it was more in, I will show you that I am right. But actually, that person was right. But I've not felt as excited as I, I should be or attached or, you know, looking forward to it. But after my deliverance, um, I feel fine. I feel like, wow. And I've been thankful. Even, and I believe my deliverance started from the preaching because I realized that I should be thankful and grateful. And, and yeah, so um, I just want to thank God. I just want to bless his name. I want to really thank him because he remembered us here in Europe. He knew our desire. He knew our need. And he made apostle come. He chose an obedient vessel to come to free his children. So, Queen, I want to thank you for being God, for coming on such so on short notice. Because, you know, God is a spirit, like you said, and he needs a body to do his work. And you made yourself readily available. So thank you again. May God bless you. And I thank God, thank God for delivering me from them. Whatever it was, because I had spiritual husband attack and I know I'm free. I'm free. I am free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Bye-bye. Ah, somebody clap for Jesus. Oh.